Hello Gundam fans, this is Brown92, and today I'll be looking at the 1-144 High Grey Clenche Custom from the third generation of Gundam Age. So this is the... It's, it's, it's a normal Clenche with the added pieces. Uh, it's basically got a new antenna piece on the head, and new wing pieces, which include the uh, beam cans or whatever, and it has new leg pieces on the top of the legs. <clears throat> and, of course, a new color scheme. A lot like the, um, the Enact from Double O, same kind of colors. Now, of course, it has the landing gear, which, just like the original, fit in the crotch piece and in the foot uh, guards on the front. It's, it's pretty solid once you get the legs just right, but if you move it a little, mu a little too much, it does like to fall over. And that piece, never, never liked the way it just... It doesn't fit securely. Thankfully, the arms do help rest the piece there. <clears throat> and to compare it to the original, which also the uh, that piece doesn't want to stay. I'll just take that off for a second. But you can see... Obviously, they're the same model, but the new one definitely has more of a... <clears throat> like a plane. Where the other one looks more like a flying arrow. Kind of like the Arios. And I think I like the new one's color scheme a little bit more. I don't know. They're both nice. Now, another thing I like is how they made the new pieces on the uh, arms here. When it's in mobile armor mode, how they conform to the shoulders. Eh. So that's pretty nice. I really like that. They just fit pretty much perfectly right there. And it does come with its own action base, which you can store the extra hands underneath. So you can have it posed on the, uh, oops, flying on the action base. Like that. <clears throat> with the linear. Why not? So, let's transform this guy. So I've already taken that part off. And just have to take the landing gear off. I wish I still wish there was a place to put the landing gear. Once it's uh when it's not in mobile armor mode, but you know it's not a big deal, I guess. Because <clears throat> you don't need them because you have to stand, so you can actually display it anyways. Oh well. And then you can just open up the feet. Nice tight hinges here. And then straighten the legs, and lose an arm, because why not? <clears throat> and then you can straighten the arms out. Alright, and you have bird walk mode. Well, why not? So you have to pull out the beam rifle all the way from the bottom. Do it straight out, so you don't break the handle off in there. And now, they tell you to bring the wings down like this, and then have them down on the arms. Personally, I like them better like this, but for now I'm going to leave them down. Makes it a little easier. Alright, and then this piece here. I'm just going to take the shell off. And instead of, it was like this, now it's going to go right in like this. And that'll basically keep the collar of the clenche up, so you can have the head exposed. And then you can push these little pieces up on the shoulders. And have to take the hand guards and rotate them. This is just a minor change. You don't have to do it, it's not going to affect the mobile armor mode that much. But, it does say so in the instructions. And then I like to put these up like this. <clears throat> and that is the Clenche Custom in Mobile Suit Mode. Pretty nice. I really do like the new pieces. Now, it does have the clear blue visor. With, uh, there's a couple stickers underneath for the detail. And you've also got gray stickers here in the top. Uh, in the butt thrusters, and right here, on new pieces. So, 
basically just, you know, detailing the way I like it. And it is pretty solid, aside from the arm, but I think the original had the same problem. Just uh, a little super glue or, na or nail polish around here, thicken it up, and then it'll stay on a lot better. But it's not, it doesn't like, it's not super loose. It just, if you move it a bit, it comes off a little too easily. But other than that, I have no problem with the way it looks in both modes. I really like both modes with these added pieces a lot more than the original. Now the Clutch A Customs head goes up and down, forwards and back, it'll rotate. The arms can go forwards and back at the torso, and up and down, and they only can go out really that far at the arm, at the shoulder, because of this piece, but they go up that high, and they'll rotate below the shoulder. Um, obviously not all the way around, because this piece gets in the way. I mean, you can rotate it down, I guess, and problem solved. Uh, bins at one point at the elbow, just down here. Uh, ball joint and wrist. It is a little limited because of this piece. Uh, the waist. Well, you can get it to go up and down because of that transformation joint, and then... Yep. And the waist can rotate all the way around. And there goes that back piece. And the side skirts are on ball joints. Legs will go not that far forward, just because of how big this new piece is. Here, look, look how big that is. <clears throat> yeah, it really limits it, unless you just do a little bit, and then you can get it farther. So straightforward, not so much, a little bit of an angle. It's pretty good. Uh, the back, if you move the back skirt, which is also on a hinge, get it pretty far. Goes out really far. Rotates at the hip. Got a fight to get it all the way around. Double joint and knee. Uh, these are on ball joints now. This one actually broke. I had to glue it on because the way these are, I was always worried that you have, you have to push them in and then push up to lock them. And I was always worried a little too hard and it'll break, and that's what happened. Eh. I don't really find it really affects that much in the actual ankle articulation because the ankles are down here on the ball joint. I should go forwards and back, side to side, and rotate. So unless you're doing this, you don't really need to have these out that much. And then, of course, the toes can go down because of the transformation. So, uh, that is the articulation. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Um, the only problems are really the new added, the new pieces for the legs kind of limit um, how far you can get it to move. But not that much. Just fiddle around and it's about as well articulate as the original. Now, of course, it has the cannons on the arms, which you could use, I suppose. It looks a little awkward. I wish there had been maybe maybe a way to... If they actually... Oh, I wonder. I don't think this will work, but it'd be cool if it did. Nah. That'd be cool if it kind of like went on the arm or could like hold them, maybe. As extra rifles. Or just a little bit more forward. Just so it looks a little more natural. But I suppose you could use them still. Uh, this is annoying. <clears throat> and you do have the shield, which is the same as the other one, just a different colored piece here. Still has the beam saber handle tucked in here. And you do get two clear pink beams. And these are the two holding, like the two solid fists for uh, punching things, I guess. And of course the shield, or the shield, the stand has the holding one for the beam saber. And you also get that extra one, which looks like a kung fu pose. Which, yeah, it's it's okay. Still thinking about using it on the uh, Spalo, just because I think it makes more sense. And let's get the other, the uh, holding hand there for the beam saber. And it does have the holes in the forearms, so you can take the other beam. And stick it right in there, like that, which is really nice. I really like that, how you can do it with the, uh, on the forearms. I've always liked that better. And just, I don't know, just, it's cool. Have dual forearm beams. Just neat. And the shield pegs on the arm. I, I just don't feel it's super solid. I don't think it was, like, any solid on the uh, any more solid on the original 
It just has that little bit of wiggle, so it comes off a little too easily. Mm -hmm. I do like it's bigger than the uh, H2s. I think it was just too tiny. And of course you have the beam rifle, or the dots rifle, which goes into the hand, under slung, sort of. It just pegs together, nice and solid, not coming off. Or you can use the part here that's keeping the collar up, and you can peg it, if I remember. Yeah, there it is. That peg right there. Little hole there. And if I can do it, I can do it. Yay, I did it. There you go. I would have rather had it, a peg on the top of the beam rifle to peg here, but yeah, that still works. It'll actually keep this piece in, so it's not going to fall out, so that's probably a good, a good idea. So, you can have all the accessories on the uh, mobile suit at once, and still have the beam servers. That's pretty cool. Pretty nice. I do like that. And I do like the added beams, although I wish they were a little more accessible in mobile suit mode. But still, accessories? Oh, and can't forget the stand, as you can still use it with the uh, other peg here. So yeah, accessories are pretty good. So uh, let's compare this guy to the age th uh, age FX. It's gonna say age 3. And they're about on par in height, which makes sense. And here it is next to the normal clenche. And if we're gonna include his little antenna, obviously it makes him a little taller. Well, you can see the uh, added leg pieces are much more detailed. <clears throat> and uh, actually, they're not really any more bulkier on the top. Might actually be a little lower. Eh, okay. It's been a while since I built this guy. And I really do. I just like those added uh, beam effect, beam parts, and the uh, the wings on the back. Just gives them a little more something compared to like this guy. He just looks kind of plain on the top compared to this one. Unless you, I guess you, you know, bring the wings down like that. And yeah, the other one still has a problem with the arms. So I think that's just a problem all the way around. So, I really do like this model, um, quite a bit more than the original, so if you like the color scheme and the new pieces, and, well, it doesn't matter much of the colors if you're going to paint it, but if you like the new armor pieces and you don't have one yet, I'd definitely say get the custom instead of the original, because it's basically the same, just with added uh, parts, I think, make it a little bit more interesting. So, that's about it, and I'll see you at the next review.